GTII had a very impressive power hour. Let's go ahead and find out what the possibilities are for the following sessions. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, this is Arca coming at you with a GTII technical and raw price action th uh, threat of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said... Let's dive right into the charts. You guys, so we are experiencing something tomorrow of a very, very, very unique macro closure. Okay, so tomorrow is, in fact, the only closure that happens during the year, and that is when the semi-annual chart, six-month chart, closes, okay, the the, the last uh, six-month uh, iteration. Uh, we get the quarterly close, we get the bi-monthly, monthly, and weekly close all on that day tomorrow okay so tomorrow is a very critical day for a lot of assets and uh, some of which may actually be experiencing some downside could uh could actually close close bearish on this okay so let's i'm not saying that gtii is i'm just saying that we have to be careful when we are facing macro closures like these okay you guys but uh yeah very impressive uh run during the during the power hour session today right immediate upside here on gtii after actually facing that 60 75 cent bottom Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and refer to our momentum indicators and see what could uh, be happening here for GTII. Okay, so, okay, yeah, why don't we do this here? Let's start off with the four hour time frame and see what we have. Okay, so th there's already a little bit of an influence happening here on the stochastics. Let's go back to the bi hourly and see what else we have. Okay, okay, all right, so the bi hourly time frame is in fact where we're starting to show a little bit of life here. Okay, so we're starting to get that lift off here uh, and we are starting to contract in volatility. Uh, a very important metric to keep in mind here is actually this. Please notice that the RSI has made a fresh cross upside of the 14 day simple moving average represented by the pink line. That's a very bullish thing to look at. And uh, also here on the Mac. D, you can see that there is diminishing bear pressure on the bars on the histogram, right? So things are looking not bad in the immediate short term. Let's look at the uh, hourly uh, time frame. Okay, great. Yeah, the hourly is actually showing a very nice pivot to the upside, increasing volatility, fresh cross upside of the SMA 14, and we're getting our first green bar on MACD. Okay, so that means that the 30 minute is likely facing the upside as well. And there you go. Uh, increasing volatility on the, th on the 30 minute, right? Increasing momentum. We absolutely have have a moonshot here on the 30 minute RSI signal and definitely getting some bigger bars here in the MACD. Okay, so yeah, what we want to do is maintain this this uh maintain this composure, right? Maintain the momentum the way that it's moving here because uh when doing so, this would be this would be the, I, ideally, you know, the, the situation that would push uh, momentum into the four hour time frame or cascade into it. Right. Because it's re it's already uh, reactive to it. But we actually want to get this thing to pivot straight to the upside so that we can uh, continue on to the upside. OK, so now next chart to look at, guys, is, of course, this is the monthly chart. And please remember that I'm telling you tomorrow is that closure 20 hours and 50 minutes to close the monthly, the quarterly and the semi-annual six month chart okay so this would be the this would be a macro closure here and it would be a macro closure inside of this channel okay which is uh which should be a bullish thing, okay? As we are respecting that support uh, down here pretty uh, pretty nicely. Okay, so let's move on to the last part of the analysis, and this is actually going to be the RSI. Notice that the RSI in the 30 minute has a very nice pump to the upside. The uh, yeah, the bi hourly time frame actually is crossing upside of the SMA 14, looking very healthy too. Uh, the four hour looks to be, I mean, primed to actually getting that cross there. Uh, same situation here with the eight hour time frame, right? And notice here that the 12 hour and the daily are finding supports from that SMA 14, right? The the pink line. So this is very good, you guys. It's looking not bad. the uh, The upper term, ti uh, the upper term time frames, sorry, uh, three day and five day look to be waiting for the response from the shorter uh, from the shorter term uh, indicators right so uh, we would need these to kind of flash to the upside ever so I'm actually we want them to be aggressive right so they can at least pressure uh, the the upside on the macro time frames this way that this way we can actually solidify a multi-day upside okay so let's just go ahead and maintain an eye on this I am gonna be streaming tomorrow live again you guys so go ahead and come by and uh, request GTI right sometimes people request it sometimes I, uh, uh, I sometimes I may miss it but in case I, I do just uh, you know say it again and I'll likely take a look at it okay you guys but uh, yeah as, as of tomorrow team since we do have let's see let me look at this one more time since we do have a uh, an upside here and uh there is limited 
resistance, which is actually very, <laughs> it's very nice to say for a change, right? Then we can uh, we can actually imply, or, or we could we could put in some projections here. All right, so we definitely have a resistance landing at the SMA 10 83.75, and I, what I'm thinking is is that we can actually fulfill this. We can reach, uh, we can try to reach to the target of about 88.59, located at the two spot 618 golden mean. But if you are curious over what this range is, then yeah. I'm, I'm essentially looking for 85, 87 to 90, 29 come tomorrow. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, evaluate the price action and we'll see what's happening. Okay, team. Remember, first and foremost, that I am not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever. Okay, I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool, cool. But with that said, I wish you well, a very, very good night and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.